UV unwrapping is one of the easiest and fastest technique with which you can make an awesome scene like this. In this video, you will get to know the steps which I followed to make this kind of animation. Before going further, if you like my content, consider supporting me by subscribing to my channel. There are many ways to make buildings. The way which I prefer is to see the reference image and make the rough geometry accordingly. While doing this, I always remain in edit mode because it is time consuming adding a different cube and reorienting it. Instead, I duplicate the face and make new geometry out of it. And it helps me keep all the geometry as a single object. Now create a new material and assign it as an image texture. This will be the concrete wall, so select the image with same kind of texture. In edit mode, press A to select everything and press U and select cube projection. You may also need to manually unwrap most of the faces. Insert some faces by pressing I and position the UV correctly to the window part of image. Extrude the face inward and insert them again. Add some more look cuts for the railing part. It is worth putting some extra effort on windows. Rest faces will be extruded in inward direction. For these faces, under material property, I will apply translucent shader. By adding a point light inside, you will get some glossy light emitting window in render weave. For extra detailing, we can also add railings. Just duplicate the upper edge and press Ctrl plus P to separate it from the rest. Now extrude it in the upward direction and add some more loop cuts. Under the modify section, add a wireframe modifier and this is how we got our railings. So in the similar manner, I made bunch of different buildings. If you are one of those who is looking for the complete 3D and visual effect course out there on the internet, then here is something interesting for you. This video is sponsored by wingsfox.com, the website where you can find awesome 3D and visual effects courses taught by experienced artists in their respective area. If you want to learn more about sci-fi world building, one course I personally recommend is the Mega City Blender course by Evan. This course starts from the basic sketching in the Photoshop and deciding the composition. Then it covers the 3D modeling and texturing of the scene with all the useful tips and tricks. Finally, we will learn to composite the whole 3D scene with different render passes, creating some amazing renders. The link to the course is given in the description below. Use the coupon code WFR15 while purchasing the course to get an extra 15% discount. First, I modeled the shop and UV unwrapped image texture. Now we will add the loop cuts and extrude some faces in inward direction. These faces will be the transparent glass. So in the shader editor, add transparent VSDF and glossy VSDF and mix together using mix shader. Now we need to design the interior of the shop. And this is where the role of SPY came into play. It is a free software which basically calculates the camera perspective according to the image we load in it. For downloading, go to spy.io and download the software. We also need to download the spy add-on for Blender and install it under preferences for the purpose of importing the spy file. Once we are done installing, load the grocery store image in spy. Now we need to manually match the Y and Z axis for the image. If you require to change the axis, you can change the axis type from here. Once you match everything, make sure that the 3D gizmo should point correctly. And finally, save this as an spy file. Back into Blender, open a new scene and under the file menu in the import section, click on import spy and select the file we just saved. On doing so, in the viewport we have our camera with the required dimension and focal length. Now we need to add the cube. Also make sure to check the in front option in the camera settings to be able to see the background in front. Then I match the side of the cube with the background. Later I add some cubes and try to match the geometry with the background image. While making this, all the cubes and other shape are either added or duplicated in edit mode. This helps to keep all the geometry as the part of the same object. You can be as lazy as possible while doing this. Once you are done, click U and select project from view. Also load the shop image as the image texture. The projection may become weird for the first time. Fix it by adding more loop cuts and again press U and select project from view. Once you get the results, you can delete the extra faces which are getting out of the camera perspective. Also in the shader editor, change the principal PSDF to diffuse PSDF and add a point light inside. Now the geometry is illuminated by the point light and you can control the amount of light inside. 
Now add this shop interior inside our building and in render view we will get this kind of results. For extra detailing I added this scope container to the scene. For making this I open a new scene and in camera setting click on add background and load the required image. Then I model the basic geometry by adding a cube and applied an image texture as a material to it. Now add more loop cuts and try performing extrusion and adding cube for the can container. Once you are done, click U and project it from view. You may also need to match the UV and we finally get the scope container. You can also make the air conditioner in the similar manner. I also added neon signs for the shop. To do so, add a text first. Then in the object menu, go to convert and select convert to curve. Give it some depth. The outer surface will act like glass, hence assign a new material to it. The node setup for this material will be like this. Basically, it is a mixture of glass BSDF and diffuse BSDF with fac input as a gradient texture controlled by color ramp. Now duplicate the sign and press all pluses to scale it down. Add the new material to the inner one whose node setup consists of the principal volume with huge value of emissive strength. And that's how we got a neon sign. You can refer the neon sign tutorial by Blender Guru to get more in-depth insight on it. We can also add banner to make the scene looks more pleasant. Add a cube and shape it as a banner. Assign black material to the outer part. For the inner face, add a specific image texture and UV unwrap it. The node arrangement for the inner face is like this. The image texture output is connected to the emission and principal BSDF node which are joined together using mixed shader. The fac input is a gradient texture that is controlled by color ramp that helps to add the gradient starting from the left and right corner moving towards the center. I also add a musgrave texture as a bump to the normal input of principal BSDF. And with this we have a banner. Further create more variations of the same with different UV projections and place all the banner in the scene. Next I animate the basic handheld camera movement and finally render the animation in cycle. So the final result looks like this. That's how this whole animation is made using Blender. Now it's your turn to make something out of this and tag your result on my Instagram handle. I have also added a time lapse of making of this scene. Check it out from the link in the description. Finally, if you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like and subscribe to my channel. That's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one.